Why is it that when a Nigerian artist puts a Ghanaian artist on a bigger stage, I rarely see Nigerians complain about it. But when a Ghanaian puts a Nigerian artist on a bigger stage, some Ghanaians complain about why the Ghanaian artist put a Nigerian artist on instead of their own. I'm back again. I'm back again. As we know, the 13th All African Games took place in Ghana. Shatawale performed at the opening ceremony. I didn't like his performance because I couldn't tell if the microphone was turned off during his performance or it was supposed to be a, 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 a full playback performance. I learned they did a sound check before his performance. So why did this still happen? Only they themselves know why, but it was work to me. Yesterday, Stoneboy was granted the opportunity to perform at the closing ceremony. But Charlie, let me tell you something. Some Ghanaians weren't talking about his performance like they did when Shatawale performed. These Ghanaians were mostly worried or concerned about why Stoneboy had Odomu do black on stage. I was like, Charlie, you the crazy, Hanan. Is this all you people have to say or was this what you people were concerned about? In one of my videos, I mentioned that Ghanaians always feel uncomfortable when Nigerians are involved in whatever they are doing. The competition they have with Nigeria runs deep in their blood. Meanwhile, Nigerians are doing whatever they got to do to succeed. They don't really care about what the next man is doing. For example, when your friend is saying, Burner Boy put Black Sheriff on, I didn't see any Nigerian media personality complaining about why Burner Boy put Black Sheriff on instead of, your friend is saying, their own. Bro, because Nigerians, no, as long as they will also succeed, no, they are okay. They don't give a damn about what the next man is doing. They are fully concentrated on themselves. As long as they will also succeed, they are okay. But when it comes to a Ghanaian, instead of focusing on how he can also succeed, bro, he is rather thinking about how the next man will succeed. I have seen Stoneboy and Odomu do black, bro. This guy, Udi, your name be long, bro. Tongue twister name. The damn. Okay, I have seen Stoneboy and Odomu do black in the studio a couple of times. But I didn't know, sir, they had a song in the pipeline. So yesterday they performed their new single together called Inkbilibi. Hey, Rade. I hope I pronounce it right though, because <laughs> it be it be hard. <laughs> and this is what this Ghanaian media personality called Olele Salvador <laughs> had to say. He tweeted, Bro putting a brother on such a stage unprovoked is real. Hey, ah boy. This is what he wrote. When I came across it, I was like, ah, what is this guy trying to tell me? Like, I needed to dig deep. And then he attached a new tweet to this tweet. So from there on, it started making sense where he was heading with his tweets. And he added, I hope one day it doesn't become an ungrateful reference in the future. We have seen it before with ODG. Shalom. That's what he said. What does he mean with this tweet? Is there something I'm missing? It sounds like he is implying that if a Nigerian artist was in that position, he wouldn't have put a Ghanaian artist on that big stage. He is saying he hopes it doesn't become an ungrateful reference in the future. So what am I missing here? Could someone point me out? For me to educate myself on this? And someone responded to his tweet by saying, Bro, relax. Nigerians have been putting Ghanaians on even bigger stages. They are both artists. So let them do their thing. Shalom. This is where the greed comes in. Nigerian artists have often helped Ghanaian artists. They let them perform in front of a sold out audience. Let me give you a typical example. Wizkid has hit, uh, had his concert in Tottenham. He allowed Kim Promise to perform his own song in front of Wizkid's sold-out audience in, in Tottenham Stadium. K 
King Promise performed, your friend is saying, Terminator. It wasn't a song they did together. It was King Promise's own song. But your friend is saying, Wizkid welcomed him and let him perform in front of his audience. So what is, your friend said, this only lady trying to tell me. When it happened, you didn't see any Nigerians complaining about it. Saying, eh, why did Whiskey put, your friend is saying, can promise on big stage instead of his own. However, Ghanaians complained about Stoneboy having, your friends Odomo Du Black on stage to perform a song. They did together. Bro, how does this even make sense? A Nigerian artist sees the music business like this. I can go by myself and win regardless, but if I unite with other countries, I can win more and bigger. However, the greed of Ghanaians prevent them from seeing the bigger picture. Ghanaians would rather have a cake all to themselves, vomit it out, eat again instead of sharing with others. This is one of the reasons it is hard for a Ghanaian artist to break boundaries because they think locally. When Nigeria or when a Nigerian put your friends and Black Sheriff on, no Nigerian came to complain or question the move asking why Burner Boy put Blacko on instead of a Nigerian artist. They accepted Black Sheriff as their own. So why can't we do the same for Odomo Du Black? The same Ghanaians who, who talk about one African don't even practice it. So Olele responded to the tweet of the guy saying Nigerians have also put your friends a Ghanaian artist on. This is what Olele added. Abego asked them call OBO and ODG to perform at World Cup and Champions League final. Them carry someone add, why can't people be nice to others on their own? This explanation doesn't even make sense. He mentioned that when the video was called to come perform at the World Cup, did he have a Ghanaian artist with him or did he put a Ghanaian artist on that stage? If you only want to do good for others, based on what others are doing now, bro, then I don't know your level of intelligence. He said such continental stages are designed for individual glories. Bro, is it forbidden to bring another artist on stage to perform when called to perform at events like the World Cup? Olele is talking about individual glories. Bro, let me bring you back. Like, Stone Boy performed a track he did with your friends, Odomu Du Black. It wasn't like Stone Boy went off stage and left the stage for Odomu Du Black to perform his personal song. We got to separate these two things. They did this song together, so literally or automatically, they decide to perform this song. So why is he talking about individual glories? So he was saying when the video was called to come perform at the World Cup, he didn't bring any Ghanaian artists with him on stage or, or didn't add any Ghanaian artist to him on stage. Bro, maybe around that time, Burner Boy or DeVito didn't feel like bringing another artist on stage. We all don't know why they didn't, but bro, it isn't a must. You can do it if you want. Stoneboy felt like doing it, so he did. So why is this even wrong in his eyes? Why can't two people just share one glory in peace without anyone? trying to point it out in a negative way stone boy wouldn't grow if he had the mindset like olili let me tell you something just because burner boy and co didn't do it just doesn't mean he should refrain from doing it if he feels like it we all don't know maybe in the near future Odomo Du Black will have a huge opportunity where he will think of what Stoneboy did and also include him in this life it says you scratch my back i scratch your back even if the other side doesn't reciprocate, you could still receive blessings from a different source because of this kind gesture. Tomboy wants to touch the world while some Ghanaians want him to stay local. Bro, you will never grow if you don't step out of your comfort zone. Until Ghanaians understand business or this music business, Jesus might have been crucified and resurrected again. Even after that crown, they still won't understand this business and will continue to spread hate whenever Nigeria is involved <laughs> in anything with them. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless. Like this video, share this video, turn on the notification bell after you have subscribed. 
Write your opinion in the comment section. Let's discuss. Be constructive. Bro, Ghanaians should put the hate aside. Ghanaians should stop thinking and say, whenever Nigeria is involved in anything they are doing now, it is a competition. Charlie, join hands like this and go win together. Because at the end of the day, you know, a Nigerian will win regardless with Ghanaian or without a Ghanaian. So why don't we just join hands and conquer the world and eat big and grow fat together? After that, you no, know, we hit the gym, we hit the gym and slim up. That does make more sense than trying to, your friends saying, find negativity in a sport whenever Nigerians are involved. Bro, we are living in 2024, very soon 2025. Nigerians don't give a damn. They will win regardless. Charlie, join hands and let's eat. Let's vibe. Let's celebrate bigger wins, bro. Come on. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless once again. Like this video. Write your opinion. Let's discuss. I'm out.